everybody, and welcome to the best of edition of Sport Fishing on the Fly. This is our ninth series of shows we've been doing. But it's not only the best of today, we're actually in our home waters of Columbia River, and Dwayne D'Andre here is taking us out. And Dwayne, it's caddis season. It's beginning of August, and That's the Columbia's renowned for dry fly fishing, especially caddis. What are we in for tonight? Well, I think we're in for a really good night. As you can see, just over, uh, over the front here, there's fish rising I know, already. I, I want to get this rigged up here. Yeah. And we just got here. So I think that as the evening goes on, you're going to see more and more fish come up feeding on uh, dry flies, preferably the caddis is what, what you're going to see fish taking. Got a couple of good patterns for us? Yeah, I got some good patterns to use, uh, set you up on the fish with. I'm sure we won't have any trouble. The, the Columbia is predominantly a really a late night fishery. Yeah. And it's going to be dark, but we're going to probably see some big fish tonight. Yeah. So let's try to get some early while well, okay. still daylight. That's always a pleasure. And we'll see what happens later. Well, you know what else we can do while it's still early is we can want to reminisce about some of the, the last 12 shows we've been through in this Series 9. So maybe mm -hmm. we'll take time to do that. And then a little later on, hopefully we'll get into some big fish. So don't go away. We'll be right back. There it is, there's my fly box. You know, one of the most important elements you're ever gonna have when you're fly fishing is the flies. And I've got some real personal favorites me and Grant like to use out here in the Columbia. Here's one here is the CDC caddis, which we've tied on one of the bench segments. And our emerging caddis, one of the old faithfuls we showed you quite a while ago. And also one of these new, one of these new parachute mayflies that I'm gonna tie on the bench. I haven't tied it on there yet, but it'll be a good candidate a little later. All these are really good patterns, and I think what we'll do now is actually have a look back at all the patterns we tied you on all the bench segments for this series. Well, you know, it's been fun over the last 20 years living in trail, watching the Columbia River really transform into a scenic, beautiful river. You know, we're also lucky we get a chance to fish a lot of great places, and not only is the fishing good, we also enjoy the scenery. So let's take a look back at some of the best scenery that we saw in this past series. This is classic Columbia though, because it's now 20 to nine, as you can tell, it's just starting to get pretty dark out. And we're just starting to see the fish moving. In the summertime, it's beginning of August, it's really hot right now. This is classic. If we stay out till midnight tonight, we'll do really good. One of the funniest parts though, of doing the show, is watching Don on the bench, because he has to compress his fly tying into three minutes. So it makes it pretty tough for him. But there's also a lot of other fun stuff that happens during the course of shooting 13 shows. And well, let's go take a look at some of that fun stuff now. Thank you. 
That was a good day. Yeah, it was a really good day, actually. I enjoyed myself fishing for bass, and we're usually out after rainbows and cutthroats, but yeah. fishing for bass was a lot of fun. Yeah, bass are good. You know, the only dis oh, I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> disappointing. I'm trying to say disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice damn belly, dude. Uh, Kelly. Kelly. That's Kelly with the arms. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a fuel master, Kelly. <laughs> oh, there it is. The finished black liquid lace. Black liquid lace product. This new liquid lace is quite good. It makes the chronomers look natural. Is that right? <laughs> All right, here we go. This new liquid lace material really gives the fly a unique look. Unique look? <laughs> gives it that translucent color which the fish really like. Damn, how was I going to finish? How was I going to finish that? The reverse top. Material really gives the fly a lifelike look in the body. Oh, in the body. <laughs> okay, here we go. You know, this new liquid lace material really gives the fly a lifelike look. And when you tie the head backwards like that, with the wing case pulled back, it gives the fly that much more of a natural look in the water. Oh, boy. Boy, it's fighting good. Jeez, he's just hunkered down there. You know what? This fish is going to be a while, I'm sure, in this kind of current. Whoa, look at him. So I think, whoa. <laughs> so I think, you know what we're going to do? Well, I'm trying to get this guy is, and we're going to go and show you some of the real nice fish we caught on this series of shows. And when we come back, we'll show you the fish. Cause this guy's pretty big going. <laughs> oh, He's man. looking good. It's a nice like fish. Oh, that's a damn you got him right up on the edge up here? <laughs> oh man. See, you know what it is? It is now 10 to 9. This is when you have to be out here. As you can see how dark it is. But this is prime time. We'll go right through till about 10, 10 30, and you're gonna get just steady action with big dry flies. And this guy, oh it's a nice one. Is it and this is the average size you're gonna get in the Columbia this time of night. Look at that in the water. <laughs> He's a that's good, a dandy. Good hey, look at the size of that. He's yeah. thick. <laughs> oh, is he ever. No, under the boat. The big dog. <laughs> Not a mob, but oh, look at that. There he is, right there. Oh, look at that. Got him. Oh, man. What I'm going to do is I'm going to light this guy up a little bit because this looks, this is awesome. I want everybody to have a good look at him. Check that out. Wow, how long is that guy? Yes, it's probably 22. 22 inch, oh, yeah, easy. Look at the back on them too. That's what you're gonna catch in here, folks. It's just uh, the Columbia. And that's all dry fly. Marvelous hook. There it is, little seedy cicadas. Okay. I'll let you do the honors of letting them go. But look at that. Isn't that nice? It's beautiful. Look at the colors. We'll try to hold it up, give everybody good luck. Here, I'll hold the net. Okay. There you go. I got the net. This is heavy fish. Sorry, buddy. Look at that. Look at the size of that fish. Put him in the water there. We'll show him that. Oh, look at 
Look at the back on him too. Look at him go. Oh, and there he goes. Oh, excellent. Good that job. Candy, eh? Put up a good fight oh, for you. Oh man, well you know what? Prime time, we got the lights going. Let's get some more. No problem, let's do it. Hi everyone, and welcome to the bench. Well, today we're going to tie you up a little creation we have here at Sport Fishing on the Fly, and it's called the Para Extend Mayfly. You know, this pattern worked great everywhere we use it in lakes and rivers. So make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we'll use a size 16 Partridge K10. We'll tie with some ADOT olive done thread. We'll use some light done hackle fibers for the tail, some light olive dubbing for the body, some short fine deer hair for the wing, and for the hackle, we'll tie in a light done hackle. I started the fly off by tying on my thread and now I've picked off about 10 light done hackle fibers and we're just going to tie this in for the tail and you want the tail just to extend back about a half an inch past the tip of the hook. Take some light olive dubbing and slowly dub it onto your, onto your thread and once we've dubbed all our dubbing onto our thread we're going to slowly wrap it to form the body or the extended body of the fly. I stacked some short fine deer hair and I'm going to make it about the wing about a half an inch long. We're just going to tie this in right at the base of the hook. And when you're tying in the wing, make sure you tie it in good on the base. And then wrap in front of the wing to get it to stand upright. Just like that. And around the base of the wing now, take a few turns just so that wing sits nice and upright. Now that the wing is tied in, we're going to whip finish at the back of the hook just so we can turn the hook around in the vise and start with the body and the hackle. Now I've selected a nice light done hackle and we're going to tie it in just behind where we put in the body and wrap it in good. Now that I have my hackle tied in, I've actually taken some dubbing and dubbed it onto my thread and I'm just going to wrap behind the wing and then move the wing forward and dub in front of the wing and finish off the body. And once we've dubbed in the body, we're actually going to take our whip finisher and whip finish off the fly and the thread at the front of the hook. Now that the body's tied in and the thread is whip finished and cut off, I'm going to turn this hook and actually rotate it so that it's straight up and down in the vise and tighten it again. Now we're going to retie our thread onto our hook by going around the wing to get it in preparation for tying in the hackle. Now that we have our thread retied on onto the wing, we're going to take our hackle pliers, put it around our hackle, and slowly wind the hackle around the wing. And progress your way down and keep winding until you get close to the butt of the wing. Once you're at made about four or five wraps, we're just going to tie off right at the base of the wing and whip finish. And there it is, the finished Para Extend Mayfly. This mayfly pattern is a little tougher to tie because it has a few more steps involved in it, but it's well worth it because this is one of the better and more lifelike patterns we've used on the waters. Look at the caddis on the water. This water was spotless about an hour ago. Yeah. And now as you can see, they're in my ears, they're up my nose, they're everywhere. And you know, we've probably got at least a hundred fish boiling. It's too bad you couldn't hear it. All you hear is this little sucking on the water and they're just gobbling these caddis. Whoa, oh, there's a the fish right there. And you know what? This is probably one of the smallest guys feeding out here right now. And this is still probably a, how big a fish is that, Dwayne? That's got to oh, be good. 17, 17 inch maybe? fish. And that's the smallest fish feeding out here right now. And I'm going to give you a time check. It's 9.30 right now, 9.30 at night. 
from the Columbia. We're early August, and this is the kind of fishing you're going to expect probably from May right through until October. You get this kind of this kind of action late at night. It's just incredible. World class fishery. And a lot of people are starting to figure it out. Getting a lot of people coming out and do a little fly fishing. Oh, there it is. Let's show everybody that guy. I'm gonna see where we're at in this eddy. Are we still uh, floating we're around? We're still in the eddy, all right. Okay. All right, that's a nice fish. Oh yeah, dandy, look at that. Isn't that nice? Beauty. I'll let him go. That's Because I know we've seen some fish, six, seven, eight pounds plus out here doing this thing, haven't we? Just huge fish. Yeah. And it's still early. It's only 9.30. Just warming up. <laughs> it's the nice thing about having the lights, we can film all night. So you know what? We're gonna keep filming. See if we can get some real big toads that are out here. Wow. Stay tuned when we come back, some more great fishing. Ah, just what they do. They swing out, they take a good run, and then they'll catch the back end of the eddy and then come back towards you. I need help. Yep, up, 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 up. Cute, okay. I'm caught up again. Turn you right There's a like good this. teamwork here right now happening. I'm trying to keep caught up on this fish. But when I first hooked him up, I, uh, I thought, because it's, I mean, it's pitch black, you can, if we turn the light off, you're going to see absolutely nothing because it is pitch black right here. Uh oh. This fish is unbelievable. It has gone completely around this eddy, and this eddy's huge. It took me through all my backing. So 15 turns left in it, and now it's going again. It's gone all the way from downriver, all the way upriver. Yeah, this is common with the big fish here. Holy Hannah, yeah. wow. Yeah, they'll go around three or four times. Look at So now he's on the top end of the eddy. <laughs> oh, it's wow. not a small fish, so I'll help you out again. I'll work with you. Good we'll, get, we'll, <laughs> we'll get him. Oh, wow. You know what the best part of this was when I hooked him up, I was I was stripping it in and I thought it was hooked up underneath the oar because Dwayne because pitch black here I and mean, you can't see nothing. And I thought I'm hooked up underneath and then all of a sudden it started to shake a little bit yeah. and I looked and I thought maybe you were oaring, but you weren't no. oaring. Yeah, caught us by surprise. Totally Pleasant surprise too. I just want to hopefully get a good look at this guy. He's gonna come back now. He's coming back at us. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta I kick her. I gotta kick her. Line there a minute ago. Nope, he doesn't want to come up. He's got to be right there. He's got to be there. Come on. There he is. Oh, there we go. He's not oh, he, not the, the, the monster, but wow. What a fight. Oh, look at him. That's what they do here. Oh, oh, congratulations, buddy. Okay. He wants these sounding again. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, wow. There he's coming back. Come on, baby. Nope. Unbelievable how far this fish ran. You say this is can be common? Yes, very common with the bigger fish. The hard fighting, well, hard I fighting mean, bows. This is the Columbia River at its best. Time check here, 10.30 at night. Pitch blackout, we're waiting for the moon. There's no moon tonight. We're hoping we're gonna get a little bit more moon. But what a tremendous night of fishing on the Columbia River. If you've never experienced it, is definitely something you want to do. Give Dwayne a call because he's going to get you out here in the same eddy that we're at. He's got a couple other ones he can take you to, but it's just incredible how many fish are up feeding right now. And uh, Don had one on. That, that was huge too. It sounded like an oar in the water splashing about. Okay, here we go. It's a thick. Come on. Come on. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Finally, holy. Oh, what a he toad. Looked, look how much different he looks compared to the other ones we were catching today. Yeah, do you want me to hold he's the a, net for you? It's a different you? shape. He looks wow. like a little salmon. This, this might be one of our native trout. But he's a... <laughs> wow. He's one of the... You think that's a yellow fish? Yeah, see the hook? See the, see the jaw? Yep. Wow. That Just is a back big in. fish. Holy. I let him go back into his caddis world. Yeah. Yeah, he's a nice, solid, good, healthy looking fish. Holy. Good. <laughs> good job. Right on, Dwayne. That's nice. Wow, hey, I really appreciate you bringing us out here tonight. You know, we're going to stay out for a lot longer because yeah. it's just starting to get good out right now. And, uh, well, it's our favorite waters here at the Columbia River. You got caddis flies everywhere in your hair and your, down your shirt everywhere, but that's part of the experience. Anyway, you get a chance to come out and enjoy the Columbia River like this, or any of the other 12 shows that we did this year, well, please take care. 
conserve the waters like most of the places we fish at do a great job. And we'll catch you next series when we take you sport fishing on the fly. Thanks again. You're welcome. My so pleasure.